Hi, welcome to the Learning Zone. This is Mr. B. In this video, I'll explain how to calculate the percent abundance of an isotope. Consider the following practice problem, where there are two isotopes of copper, copper 63, whose actual mass is 62.9298 AMU, and copper 65, whose actual mass is 64.9278 AMU. If the average mass of copper is 63.546 AMU, calculate the percent abundance of each isotope. The percent abundance of each isotope of copper may be calculated algebraically. For example, suppose we let the percent abundance, or in this particular case the fractional abundance, of copper 63 equal 1 minus x, and the fractional abundance of copper 65 equal x. Using this information, we may indeed solve for x, which will represent the fractional abundance of copper 65. And of course, to determine the percent abundance of copper 65, we simply multiply its fractional abundance times 100. Okay, this is the process. The average atomic mass of copper is 63.546. This is equal to 1 minus x times 62.9298 AMU. And to this product we will add the product of x times 64.9278 AMU. This will equal the following. 63.546 is equal to 62.9298 minus 62.9298x plus 64.9278x. Now we simplify by subtracting 62.9298 from each side of the equation. This will equal the following. 63.546 minus 62.9298 which is equal to a negative 62.9298x. Remember, the negative 62.9298 was generated in the previous calculation. Plus 64.9278x. Now let's add x, where negative 62.9298x plus positive 64.9278x is equal to 1.9298. 9984x. And of course, 63.5246 minus 62.9298 is equal to 0 0.6162. To solve for x, we divide through by 1.9984. And x will equal 0 0.6162 divided by 1.9984. And this is equal to 0 0.3084. Therefore, the fractional abundance of copper 65 is equal to 0 0.3084. The fractional abundance of copper 63 is equal to 1 minus x, where x is equal to 0 0.3084. This is equal to 1 minus 0. 3084, which is equal to 0 0.6916. So the fractional abundance of copper 63 is 0 0.6916. And of course, to calculate the percent abundance of copper 63, we simply multiply 0 0.6916 times 100. And this will equal 69.16%. And from the previous calculation, where x is equal to 0 
0.3084. We multiply 0 0.3084 times 100, and the percent abundance of copper 65 will be 30.84%. Assuming an element possesses two isotopes, by using this technique, it is possible for you to calculate the percent abundance of any isotope.